Morning everybody, um, I've just done a video which has been somehow corrupted in this old camera I'm using, I'm not surprised, of uh, this two piece pot here. So unfortunately um, I've lost the first part, so uh, sorry about that, I'll have to do it again another time. Uh, it's a two piece pot, it's going to look like this one here, that's about 32 inches tall and um, that's the state we're in now. We're going to go from the sublime to the ridiculous or the ridiculous to the sublime and I'm going to throw some tiny guinomies off the hump now for you. Hopefully this uh, video will uh, not get corrupted by the camera. Okay here we are. Throwing some of these little sake sake cups off the hump. Um, I've had an idea of um, using the bag wall in my kiln. I've got two lengths of bag wall about 30 inches long. And I'm just going to uh, throw some pots, some little sake cups to. Uh, to run along that bag wall and I'm going to raw fire them in the next firing. Um, just an idea. This clay is reclaimed clay, it's got a lot of grog in it so it should um, it should take the thermal shock quite well. I went over to my uh, my son, visit my son last weekend in Manchester, and uh, he got some of these that I gave him a while ago. And I thought, oh, I really should start to make some more of those. Quite a nice little cups. So here we are. simple cylinder. As I just said in the intro there, I've just done a video this morning and I was really pleased with the way it went. I didn't hesitate or stammer or I thought it was too good to be true. Because when I came to um, when I came to ed edit it just now, you can see the grog in it, can't you? When I came to edit it just now, uh, it says file corrupted on the camera. So I lost the filming of the two parts you've just, I've just shown you. Um, but hey ho, it is what it is. But it's a bit weird going from, from throwing big pieces small ones be some uh, sake bottles thrown to go with these that's not on my list of things to do I've been lucky enough to get into all of the shows I've applied for this year sometimes you get rested or turned down for whatever reason and uh, so you always sort of apply for one or two more than you think you'll get into but luckily I managed to be accepted in all, all of them so far I'm just waiting for one compressed in the inside here because you're not throwing it on a wheel on the wheel head the inside needs to be pressed so I'm just pressing it with my fingers I use a I use a um, a needle to cut them off I 
because I find it easier. I have got string string here that is traditionally used for off the hump, and I'll just uh, have a go. <laughs> go horribly wrong. Oh, it's in shot, I'll raise it up a little bit. I hope my camera isn't um, on its way out. It's a second hand one, you can't buy them anymore, they're, they're called flip, flip share cameras and it has a um, inbuilt software, an inbuilt editing suite, so you just plug it into the computer and you edit it all on the phone. Make movies, add titles, it makes life so much easier. But they stopped making them a long time ago, Cisco Systems make them in America, I think it is, or wherever. And um, they're hard to get hold of. You can get similar ones, but they, they cost hundreds of pounds and they're not as good. Fingers crossed. You do tend to get a crick in your neck, leaning the head over like this all day. I walk around with a bit of a wobble on it to stretch my stretch my neck out. Right. Let's see if we can't get this going right. There you go. Not too bad. I'll just do you one more. It's just a quick little video this morning to make up for the one I've just lost. And then the next video will be um, the Hacker May one. How to uh, putting the uh, the black slip on and then the Hacker May bushwork. I've shown it before. There are old videos of it. But making pots tends to be a repetitive thing, you know. If I think there's something useful to chat about, I'll make a video. If someone has, has a, a query about something, ask me how, how I do something. I mean, how I do it isn't the way to do it. Obviously, it's just the way that I do it. But I think I find it easier to show someone rather than tell them. These are 3D objects we're making, so it's best to explain it in a 3D way. It's only like drawing in, drawing in space, isn't it, really? So, nice little cups. Little video of what I'm doing today. And then... Um, The pots from the previous Edo bowls, they'll be dry this afternoon. And um, I can put, trim them, I'll show you them being trimmed. And the black slip going on them. So, busy days all around, making enough pots for all these shows I'm doing this year. <laughs> it's a very nice problem to have.